role as a school is changing, has changed over time. I think we, um, schools have now become um, places of education, even for the parents. Uh, we, you know, that's, that's what's happened over time. And part of it is society, part of it is social media, part of it is um, the pandemic, all of that. So I think, yes, our role has, I believe our role has changed as a school where we have to even educate our parents. It's not just the student, children that we are educating. Um, and I think, you know, if you go back to the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, unless and it's, you know, the second level, right? The safety and happiness and security. So unless and until we can satisfy that, nothing else is going to happen. So I think we've kind of, we have to as, you know, I totally believe in forgetting the, the syllabus. Actually, that word is even banned on my campus. I don't allow anyone to use that word syllabus. Um, it's about uh, curriculum and it's about learning and it's about guiding. So what are we doing? How are we doing it is actually, I feel more important. And I feel through the two years of the pandemic, I think we've got a really good insight into what's happening in people's homes. But there are, Rati, the one, one question, you rightly said that we need to involve parents in this entire journey right. and educate them also. But right. as, as you are also, you might also be facing because a lot of the parents of your children are, are uh, really from that profile where, where they might not even understand or they want to get involved. There's also a class of, I, I know I was talking to Shilpi once and, and she was telling me that in Ludhiana and uh, Punjab, parents don't even care. They, they say, Ki humne bachcha aapko de diya hai. now it's your job, you uh, fix whatever. And, and they don't even come for PTM meetings sometimes. I mean, uh, Aditi is smiling because she, she her school is also in uh, uh, in Noida. And I think, you know, uh, some greater Noida may na, Aditi ma'am. Uh, so I think parents don't even care. They say, Ki humne mat samjhao. Don't tell me that my, my student is emotionally not okay um, because he must be happy and 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 he must be happy. So how do you involve these parents? I mean, I think there's a community of parents who don't want to get in. Well, also, I think first is we have to sensitize our teachers, right? Our teachers, our staff, not just the counselors. I think we have to first sensitize our teachers and help them understand and help that identification. And the parents, I mean, yes, in my school, yes, the parents are um, not from, you know, we serve the underserved children of Uttarakhand, but I will tell you, they are very engaged. They want to learn, they want to know, especially in fact, for us, it was the other way around during the pandemic because of online, our teachers used to make it a point by saying, when you're speaking, two minutes, put your video on for the children, even though bandwidth, all that stuff. But two minutes, put it on because the teachers got a really good glimpse into their homes and into what was going on. And we found out a lot of stuff through that. A lot, yeah. of, lot of things we found out about children that we didn't know before. And well, now we are following up on that. Great. So great. So that's wonderful. Uh, anybody else who wants to share... Uh, some inputs on this uh, paper on this topic. Adi